So we're almost ready to produce our video and you may have a few final touches to put on. You can see we've done quite a bit of editing of these two uh, videos that we've put together on the screen and we've added our zoom and pan and we've also uh, done a lot of cutting but you might go you know I want to add a little bit more so you can always come along here and hit zoom and pan again and come on down here this little plus sign just to add another marker and you can always move that marker to wherever you want to on the screen so it's a very easy process when you're done just hit finish and we're now ready to move on to the next part of this and that's to produce the video it's very simple just come down here hit the file menu and hit produce video as and produce the video so now that you're complete with your video editing you're ready to produce your video and what you want to do is go ahead and save the project so we're going to save project as we'll call it YouTube vid and we're going to produce first a video for YouTube and second a video for flash and let's go ahead and save that and let's make our video for YouTube. So the settings are pretty simple. We're going to go to File and Produce Video As. And there's a lot of options here. You can go for Web, CD, Blog, iPod, or to Custom Production. Then we're going to go to Custom Production. Go Next. We're going to choose Windows Media Streaming Video and go Next. We're going to choose Camtasia Studio Best Quality click on next we're going to choose a custom size of 640 by 480 go next go next let's click next and next and so we're ready to go and that's probably the best quality settings that I've found for YouTube choose the Windows Media best quality 640 by 480 and go ahead and process that and that's the best you're going to do for YouTube because the problem with YouTube videos is they're so small and they shrink them down as far as bit size is concerned so it's kind of fuzzy so the zoom and pan helps you out and I find I found basically through experience and the, some research we've done on their web in Camtasia these are the best settings to get the best video quality so once the video is completed processing it will play and let's go check in my downloads and see that the video is indeed there so we'll go to, we'll get out of this video playing right now. Let's get off of that. And let's go to my documents. And we'll go to Camtasia. And we'll go to the YouTube folder we created. So we called the project YouTube Vid and it created a folder and put the uh, real media video in there. So now let's upload that to YouTube. So all you need to do is open up YouTube. So now we've processed our video. We want to put it up on YouTube. Fairly easy to do. Go ahead and navigate to YouTube and log in. Then go to the upload tag. So I'll click on account. I'll scroll over to upload. Give your video a name. I'll just call it my test video and a description and this is where you'll put your description and then choose a category ours is education then you can choose another tag uh, maybe put a few other titles in there like Camtasia I put my name in there my Lord's tag and you come down here and you hit upload a video and choose browse and browse to the video that you just created and ours was YouTube vid and hit open and upload that video and in a few minutes you'll have a video uploaded to YouTube and it'll show in your playlist with all your other videos and you're finished you just uploaded a video to YouTube it's fairly easy to do with Camtasia good luck in doing that now let's go and show you how to upload a video to the web so you can link to it in a blackboard course or from your websites.